Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad to the latest iPad OS 14. So let's get started. Right in your settings. In your settings, your very first option will be your name or maybe your device's name. From there, make a backup using iCloud. If you guys have no more space on your iCloud, just hook it up to your computer and use iTunes in order to backup and even update if you're having any issues. For those of you who are Mac users, you can always use Finder in order to do the backup and update. But for now, assuming that you guys have done so, let's just go into general and then under general, we should see our second option where it says software update. Under software update, we should see checking and then this should pop up, iPad OS 14. Some of you might only see install at this point in time. That's okay. You might have already downloaded those 2.21 gigs which isn't that huge. However, for those of you who have downloaded install, let's just tap right there. It's gonna ask you for a passcode if you guys have one. Once you put that in, it's just gonna start the downloading process after we agree, agree again, and there we go. So once we agree to that, it's gonna download the iPad OS. However, make sure to have at least 50% of your battery. If you don't, hook it up some electricity. And even if you guys have more than that, maybe you guys have 90% of your battery, I still recommend hooking it up some electricity because if this fails or your iPad turns off for any reason when it's installing the update, then you're gonna have to restore it. And that means deleting everything from your iPad. Luckily, that's why I tell you to make that backup so you can load everything back in. If you are having any problems with this update, maybe you don't find it, just use iTunes like I mentioned, or on Mac, use Finder. For now, the update's just gonna download. During the download process, if it does turn off, it's no big deal, you can restart it again, and that's it. However, when it's installing the update, then it could be problems. So make sure it's not turning off when it's actually installing the update. For now, let's just let it run. And yes, after a bit, it's gonna restart. We're gonna see an Apple logo loading bar, and then we're gonna be pretty much done. So after 20 to 25 minutes, the software should have been downloaded. And right now we're just gonna press uninstall now. Then our iPad's just gonna restart. We're gonna see an Apple logo loading bar. Then we're pretty much done. So let's just do that right now. It should ask to verify, yep. Yeah. So what we're gonna see is this Apple logo in a loading bar, like I mentioned, plus another time we're gonna see that again. So the first time it's gonna run pretty slow. And then the second Apple logo in the loading bar is gonna run way faster. So after that, we should see this screen or a screen telling you that it's done. Then we're gonna go into our passcode. If you have one, put it in now. And there we are, it's all done. So if you go into settings, software update, everything should be up to date, iPad OS 14. And that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.